What is that, Fox? Well, this has just been a week of, uh, what the fuck happened, isn't it? I've seen a lot of things that I haven't seen in a while and heard some shit. I haven't heard in a while. I was around for the whole Rodney King shit. That was pretty fucking horrible. Isn't this though? Wasn't this? This is a whole new type of shit. But necessary. Very necessary. Very necessary. About time, honestly. But I watch the videos and stuff, and I. <laughs> it's very strange to see. They're protesting brutality from the police in the African American community. So the police are brutalizing peaceful protesters. There's some of them now that don't even wear their name tags or insignia, so you can't find them. And they're brutalizing people. Kid got shot in the head. He's in a coma. I think it said he was in a coma. He's in critical condition. I know that. Who aims for the fucking head? With the... With a rubber bullet. Yeah. A psychopath. <laughs> These are like 10 ton child shoved into riot gear. Who got picked on as a child. Who got given a badge in riot gear because they want to be big men and women. I saw a bunch of protesters kneeling with their hands in the air, getting pelted with pepper balls. Yep. And I didn't think I'd ever see the day when our constitutional right to protest will be taken away. Peacefully protest. Fuck the rioters, honestly. That's how I feel about that. But the peaceful protesters should be the ones being protected by the police. But I guess you know they're protesting because the fucking police are cowards. Not all of them, of course. There are some police actually in some places marching with them. Opening a dialogue with them. So honestly, sorry, my neighbor's coming home with all his windows down and his music up. So that's what we do at one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Trump brought in the, the military you know, the shit you fund, your tax dollars. Some of you get put your kids in to go off and fight for our country. Yeah, Trump brought them in to just fight our country. He brought our military to fight us. <laughs> he brought our military in not to fight for the Constitution but to kill parts of the Constitution. Yep. 
Insurrection Act. Kind of made the whole protest even more important. You orange bunker bitch. Wow. Had to bring in the military, huh? While well, you sat down in your little bunker redecorating. I want to put in orange curtains. I want them to be silk. I want them to be pretty. So you sent the military to brutalize peaceful protesters because you don't agree with them. Question. Are you going to protect your family down in that bunker or is it only you? Because you don't give a fuck about anyone else but yourself. That was a rhetorical question you don't have to answer because I already know. I already know. You're going to lock the door without anybody, including your wife. She'll be on the outside too, huh? Who gives a shit? Anyways, moving on. Amberlynn has cancer. Wow. What do you say about that? Pretty much nothing. It was quite sad to see her that worked up. I mean, it's she's not going over the top this time. That was the right amount of worked up. But having been, like I said in my last video, having been in a family that has the tendency to get cancer and having a husband that just got over cancer a few years ago, it can be done. This is the time to freak out. But you do have the strength to take a deep breath, collect yourself, don't think about whose fault it is or if you should have been going somewhere and if you had. That's not an option anymore. Don't think about the past. You can't change it. It can't be fixed. It's the truth. Don't think about things you can't fix anymore. Take a deep breath and think about the things you can change now. That's all you can do. When my husband got cancer, that's what we realized was the thing that was going to keep us sane and on the right track. Don't worry about what's behind you. You can't change the past. All you can do is concentrate on the things to get better. Everything else is just a moot point. You can't dwell on if you should have gone to the doctor or maybe if you did this or if you ate this. No. The past is the past. You can't feel guilty. You don't have that option. And anyways, just to let you know, coming to peace with it is the best thing for you. Because having just a zen-ass emotional well-being during this time as you probably will have a hysterectomy, maybe some chemo, depending on the kind of cancer you got. You're gonna need to be zen. It helps you heal, it helps your body, and it'll help you keep it together. You'll be all right. You just need to learn how to just zen the fuck out. Stay away from fast food. The preservatives and the chemicals in that shit, it's not going to help you. Trust me. We had to change my husband's entire diet. You can do this. You have the support system and somewhere inside that giant body and in that brain. You have the strength to do this. Everybody does. They just don't know it yet. Don't argue with the doctor. That's all I can tell you. When you talk to the oncologist, 
That's the person who's going to take care of your cancer treatment. Don't argue. If they give you a recommendation, don't be like, no, I'm going to get a second opinion. Fucking take the first opinion. These people... They studied this shit. They're still studying this shit. You're Googling this shit. You need to trust them. Just listen to them. They know what they're doing. This too can be done. And you can heal, and you can be back to eating Wendy's in no time. Trust me, you'll be fine. You should probably take a little breakity break off the daily vlogs, though. It'll help. Oh, and then another thing. If they make you do chemo... You might want to super clean your house, and I'm talking about way, way above spring cleaning. Because uh, you kind of kill your immune system when you take chemo. And uh, we had to do that before we took my husband to chemo. The, the, the pretty much, you get sick in a heartbeat. And you can already get sick in a heartbeat with your weight. That's not a joan, I'm just saying. You, you, you do, to be honest. Yeah, they said if we didn't want to have my husband getting every common cold and bullshit, we should super clean the house. It was sterile, constantly. It smelled like Lysol, alcohol. Not, not like alcohol you drink, like alcohol, alcohol. Yeah. Kept him from getting sick while I did chemo. Nothing kept him from puking, though. They even gave him medicine for nausea and he still puked. I'm just happy he didn't puke in the car. So many close, close calls. So many close calls. Don't worry. We're all rooting for you. You'll be fine. This too shall pass. And if it makes you happy, you can go to a gynecologist when you're done. If it makes you feel better. You won't have a reason to, but so. I do it and I don't even have lady junks. It's because I have the shit on the outside. <laughs> but I have to have my tits squished. So annoying. I tell them all the time, like, my husband plays with them. I don't need you to do it too, but they still make me go. Well, everybody stay safe. Seriously. I hope everybody gets the re resolution they want in all of this. And I hope, Lord, I hope, that Donald Trump gets stuck in that bunker. No one can get him out. Shucks. Darn. Amber, you'll be fine. Trust me, my husband's fine. He's still kicking. <laughs> Running miles around the neighborhood and shit. Biking. It's like he never had cancer. You just have to want it. Ah, I can't say that. My grandma had a breast cancer on Mother's Day. I'm pretty sure she wanted not to die though. You know what I mean. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Like, subscribe, share. But if you don't, it's perfectly fine. I'm an asshole. We all know this. 
But if you don't want to like, subscribe, share, I'm, st I'm still going to be sitting in front of this camera talking to myself as usual. JD stopped talking to me. He's just doing this grunts and shit. I don't know why. Seriously. Seriously, look at him. Look, this is all he does anymore. Look. This is all he does. He doesn't even talk to me. That's all he does. <laughs> well, anyways, I'll still be sitting here in front of this camera talking to myself. And I'll see you guys later. Deuces.